Hey guys, welcome to Art2. If you're new to the channel, this channel is about helping you sell your art online through print-on-demand websites like Redbubble and a few other platforms that we discuss on this channel. And in today's video, we're actually talking about some software that can help you create digital art to sell on print-on-demand platforms. Over the years, I've used a lot of different digital paint programs to create different projects to upload to print-on-demand websites. And each program has its unique benefits and features and things that I can do in certain programs are limited in others. So that's why I like to try different programs and come up with maybe a combination of two or three programs that have unique brushes that I can go back and forth and work with and create something totally unique that I couldn't do in just one program. So every time I find a new program, I get excited. And I found a program called Black Ink. I never heard of this program before and there was available a free trial, which meant that I could try it out for free and see if it would be something that would work for my designs and if I can use this program to create designs that I would upload to print-on-demand websites. So when I took a look at the website, one of the things that most excited me was the brushes, combination of brushes here that I could use for certain projects, and I was really excited to try this program out and see what I can come up with. Now, when I went on to the website, and I started to look into it, I also noticed that the requirements for this program, it's only for Windows, but it would work on lower end hardware. What that means and why that's a good thing is that with a lot of us moving over to iPads, Android tablets, and forgetting about our old discarded PCs, or sometimes you get a hand-me-down computer from someone, you can now install a program that can help you create digital art on a computer and at a fraction of a cost of having to get a new computer. So that's why it's really exciting that I could find this program because I do use the GIMP, which is a totally free program, but this was a program that was a commercial program with a lot of features that were available. Uh, it built into this program and that I could run on lower end hardware. Now, the thing with creating digital art on lower end hardware is sometimes the computer can't keep up with what you're doing. So you'll have to play around with it on your particular hardware. And that's why this is great that you can try the free trial first before you actually commit to purchasing it and then finding out it might not work on the hardware that you have. Now when we look at some of the art that was created with black ink, you can see that there's a lot of cool designs that people have uploaded to the gallery here. I was really fascinated with some of the work that people had been creating with this program and I couldn't wait to start creating my own designs. Now I know that with every program that I get into, there's going to be a learning curve and it's going to take me some time to master some of the tools that are available in the program. Now the nice thing about some of the software is that it is very similar to other programs that I use. So there are going to be some repetition in some of the things that you do in one program and what you would do in another program. So that makes it a little bit easier to start learning a new design program like this one. And there were some tutorials and things that I found online. So it made it a little bit easier to get into this program. So once I had my free trial version installed, I was really impressed with what I can do in this program. Now, I'm at the point right now where I'm contemplating, do I buy this program for $59.99 and use it as an everyday drawing program when I already have so many other programs? So I'd really have to justify purchasing this program for $59.99 because I already have other programs. Now, if you don't have design software already installed on your computer or you're looking to upgrade from something that you might already have, this would make a great program to try out and maybe upgrade from an older version of software that you might have. Again, like I mentioned, because it also runs on lower end hardware, if you have an older computer, this would also be a given because you can run this program properly on a computer that's maybe three to five years old and it would run as perfectly as possible with that aged technology. So unfortunately, I haven't created any designs that I have uploaded to a print on demand website with the software yet because it's a trial version. And that means that I can't save the copy down in the quality that I need it to be to upload to print on demand. So that means that for now, this is just an experiment in the software to see if it is actually worth paying the $59.99. At some point, I might spring and buy the full version. As you can see, some of the brushes were really cool to work with and just playing around and going through the screens, it seemed simple enough that I probably will master this program in a couple months. For now, it's just a little side project for me to play around with this program. And I also wanted to share it with you guys so that you have more tools in your box of things that you use to create print on demand designs to make money online. If you like print on demand and you want to be vested in this field, you have to have tools. Without tools, you can't make money. 
So the more tools you have for print on demand and to create new designs, the better it is for you. And in the long run, the more you know how to create things in different programs, it's going to help you merge a whole bunch of different designs and techniques into different programs and then merge them all together. I've created so many different designs, starting off in one program, uploading it to another program, then by the end of all that process, I have something really unique because there are different brushes and tools and other effects that you can add from certain programs. So don't get caught stuck in just one digital art program. So if you aren't already subscribed to the channel and you like print on demand and you want to make money with print on demand, I hope you can consider hitting the subscribe button and becoming part of this art two community that we're building up and trying to upload as much content as possible to help digital artists like yourself make money online with your art. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and if you hit the like button, you help us get found in the YouTube algorithm. We hope to see you guys in the next video. So keep uploading and we'll talk to you guys next time.